Good day, viewers. Yeah, welcome back to Alifax Teaches. Today, we're going to be looking at mathematics on our channel. And the topic is basic operations in other business, like addition and subtraction in other business. Just before we move on into our example, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Now, example one, add 765 and 376 in base 8. So we have 665 plus 673 all in base 8. So we use our normal addition to have this. 5 plus 6, we are going to have 11. Anytime the number is greater than the base, we now say that how many of the base can we say in the number? That is, how many 8 can we say in 11? 11 divided by 8. 8 goes in 11, it this 1, remainder 3. So in this case, we write our remainder, which is 3, and we take this one across. We carry that one. Now move to this other side. 6 plus 7, we have 13. 13 plus the one we've carried here, that is 14. 14 is greater than 8, which is the base. We see 14 divided by 8. So here, we are going to have 1 as well. So remainder 6. So we have to write our remainder 6. 6, and we carry this one. 6 plus 3, we have 9. 9 plus the one we've carried, that is 10. Then 10 is greater than 8. 10 divided by 8. So 8 goes in 10, we have 1. Remainder 2. So we write our remainder 2. Now there's no more number here. So the remaining one that we made, we put it here. So that is 1, 2, 6, 3, base 8. Example 2, add 1011 plus 1011 in base 2. So we have 1011 plus, you start from the right hand side, 1101, all in base 2. So we're going to have 1 plus 1, we have 2. So 2 is up to the base, so we say 2 goes in the base 2. It's going to give us 2 divided by 2. We have 1. Remainder, nothing. That is remainder 0. So here, you write our remainder 0. We carry this one. The next one, 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2 plus 1 we've carried, that is 3. That is, we have 3 divided by the B, which is 2. So 2 goes in 3. We have 1. Remainder, 1. So we're going to write our remainder 1, which is this one. That is remainder 1. So we carry this one. 0 plus 0, we have 0. Plus 1 we've carried, that's 1. 1 is not up to 2. So you write that 1. 1 plus 1, we have 2. 2 divided by 2, it gives 1. Remainder 0. Write your remainder 0, carry 1. There's no more number here, you put your 1 here in base 2. Example 3, add 421 base 5, comma, 12 base 5, and 42 base 5. So we have 4, 2, 1, plus 12, that is 2 first, then 1, then plus 42, 2 first, then 4, all in base 5. So we go 1 plus 2, that is 3, 3 plus 2, that gives 5. Then that 5 is up to the base 5. So we now say 5 divided by 5 gives 1. Remainder 0. So we write our remainder 0. I will take that. We carry that 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 4, that is 7. 7 plus 1, that is 8. And 8 is above 5, the base. So 8 divided by the base 5. So 5 goes in 8. We have 1. Remainder 3. So we write our remainder 3. We carry this 1. 4 plus this one, we have 5. It's up to the base. 
5 divided by 5 gives 1, remainder 0. So we write our remainder 0, we carry 1. There's no more now here, we put our 1 here, base 5. Example 4, subtract. Open bracket 3, 121 minus 113, all in brackets, to base 5. Now to solve this, we have, we have to subtract 3, 2, 1, minus, we write this 3 first, followed by 1, followed by 1. So we have all in base 5. Now 1 minus 3. This 3 cannot go in 1. It's impossible. We are going to borrow one from here. The one we borrow will now become our base, which is five. If our base is eight, it's going to be eight. If it is base, it's going to be two. So the one you are borrowing here becomes five. Now, five plus this one, five plus one, five plus one gives six. So with this has become six. We now say six minus three is going to give us three. Don't forget this three has remained one. One minus one, that is zero. Three minus one, that is two. You can see that this value, when we say 6 minus 3 is 3, is not up to the base 5. So in that case, we are going to write it direct. If it's up to 5 or above 5, we are going to do it as the additional operation. But now it's not up to, it's not up to the base 5. So this is our final answer. Example 5, subtract 265 from 317 in base 8. So you want to take away 265 from 317. So we write this first. 317 minus, also write from the right hand side, 5, 6, 2. All in base 8. Now, 7 minus 5. So it's going to give us 2. So we write 2 here. 2 is now up to the base 8. 1 minus 6. It's impossible. 6 cannot go in 1. What are you going to do? You borrow 1 from this thing. That one with you borrow becomes your base. That is 8. So when this one you borrow here becomes 8, add the 8 to this one. So it becomes 9. So 9 minus 6, we have 3. So 3 is not up to 8. You write it. This has remained 2. When you borrow that one, 2 minus 2, we have what? 0 to base 8. So number six, find the missing figure if the addition is in base four. So this is addition and they are all in base four. So when you look at this addition, what you are going to do here is to add these two together. As we know that addition, the opposite of it is subtraction, meaning that when we get the answer here, we will not take it away from this final answer. Meaning, we are going to be having one, three, 0, 2, plus 3, 2, 1, in base 4. So we have 2 plus 3, that is 5. 5 is above 4. So we say 5 divided by 4. And if 4 goes in 5, we have 1 remainder 1. We are going to write our remainder 1. We carry that 1. That 1 we carry 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 is now up to 4. We put down our 3. Then 3 plus 1, that is 4. 4 is up to the base. So 4 goes in that 4. We have 1 remainder 0. We write your remainder 0, you carry 1. To the 1 here, 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2 is not up to 4, we write 2. In what? Base 4. So we're going to take away 2031 from this final answer. So we have 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 2, in base 4. So 2 minus 1, we have 1. 2 minus 3, impossible. Go and borrow 1 from here, it becomes 4. So put the 4 here. So 4 plus 2, we have 6. So 6 minus 3, we have 3 left. And 3 is not up to 4, you write your 3. This has remained 0. So 0 minus 0, we have 0. 0 minus 2, it's come, it's, it, it is impossible. You come and borrow one from this one. The one, this one reduced to zero, and the one you borrow here, come and put it here, it becomes four. Four plus zero, we have four. Four minus two, we have two. So all in base four. So this is how to undergo addition and subtraction of number bases. So 
in the subsequent class, we are going to be talking about the multiplication and the division. And I promise you, you are going to enjoy the class. If you are a new member in this class, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent lessons. If you are a usual member, I say thank you for believing in me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.